Everyone knows the ninja and alchemist combination is OP, but you want to know what else is just as OP? Ninja and glue gunner. But normally this combination struggles against camel rushes, so today we're pairing it with ETN and banana farm and hopping in some Hall Masters games Let's hop right into it. And also guys in the shop right now there's a summer sun showcase where we get a lot of cool emotes and avatar icons and whatnot for a door. So if you can get anything from Battles 2 item shop, make sure to click create a support and put in code Rymahalic. Thank you for your support. All right, guys, we have an ETN versus ETN matchup here. And ladies and gentlemen, the first match of today's video is on the map of Bloonstone Quarry. We're both starting with our ETN, and I'm gonna actually go on the strategy of um Ninja, Glue Gunner, and Farm. I played against this loadout in my previous video, and I got some requests in the comment section down below that wanted me to see wanted to see me try out the loadout myself. Which actually this isn't a bad loadout, so I wanted to go it. The glue and the ninja do pair pretty well together. The glue storm helps out the projectile damage of the ninja a ton. So yeah, we're against eight here, we're starting with their dart monkey, so that's interesting. We're gonna start with our ninja and our ETN and let's send a couple spaced greens their way. Let's get this up to sharp shots. I don't know really too much about the starting with the strategy. I know you're supposed to go for a corrosive glue for round five. But it's been a while since I've gone this loadout, so we we'll kind of have to play this by ear here. It does appear, though, the Sharp Shots Ninja is kind of enough off their rip to defend, so that's fantastic. And it's going to farm down here. They're sending me yellow balloons. Okay, yellows are actually probably going to do some damage, I would imagine. Let's get our Glue Gunner here. I'm fine to leak in all honesty. Leaking's not the end of the world or anything. Let's upgrade the glue to this. All right. And put the ninja on first. With Seeking Shuriken. Perfect. How is this performing on defense currently? Ideally, I don't upgrade to a double shot. I really don't want a double shot. Um, Let's upgrade, let's upgrade ETN Drone Swarm. I'm going to leak a lot, but that's totally fine. I probably should have upgraded ETN Drone Swarm at the start of the round, too. Instead of waiting to do it. But that will defend for us. Okay. Upgrading ETN Drone Swarm is not awful though, because if they, I need to upgrade ETN later for camo detection anyways. So, but yeah, the reason I don't want to get double shot on this is I want this ninja to be a flash bomb ninja later actually. So, not getting double shot, not getting that third upgrade on, it's actually pretty important to keep it cross pathable with the bottom path. That's the entire reasoning there. But now we have the two two zero glue gunner up, so this is going to be enough defense for their white balloons and black balloons. Spawn's got the crossbow, triple dart set up on their end, so they are going to be good as well. And we will just keep on farming up. The only problem is our life count here, but the life count's honestly not terribly bad. It's interesting, we've both got uh, glue ETN strategies here. They're going dark glue farm. I actually guess I don't know if they're going dark glue farm yet. We're guessing it's glue gunner, because what other tower would you bring with dart ETN farm? You know, glue gunner is the most likely candidate for sure. All right, keep farming. The ninja's doing good as clean. Pretty much this glue gunner can solo the black balloons. I don't really need the ninja at this point, but it's best to just keep this guy up than selling him and replacing him later. It makes the most sense. All right. Looks like eight has actually stopped their eco. Interesting. I'm guessing they're saving up for an early plantation then. Is their plan? They're just going a lower eco route. Okay. That's fair. The only problem with my loadout though on this map is this loadout does need a lot of space late game to spam, spam blue jitsus, shinobis, and all that. And this map is pretty limited on space, to be honest. There's not really great placements for ninjas and stuff. So, that actually could be something we can run into later, problem-wise. Are they going to send me zebras? If they do, I'm just going to get blue dissolver on my side. If not, I'm going to go for another farm. Opponent actually uses a drone swarm there. Okay. Yeah, their eco is really low. They're going double plantation though, so that's why their eco's low. They are going a high farm route here, which is fine. I'll just take the... And also, they're going to out-farm me with their loadout too, so I'm not really too worried about being out-farmed. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Let's send some space lead balloons. Bomb! Oh! Bomb is not what I expected, by any means. Okay, send some white balloons. It's for say cluster bomb. Wait, what the heck? They went for... I think they accidentally did that, yeah. That was an accident for sure. Okay, well, that's good. We forced even more. And now I can send camos. Force their ETN level and force a tower boost. I'm in a really good spot now. After that blunder from the opponent. Alright. And we'll send space ceramics next round for sure. Space ceramics. I still don't even have a flash bomb on my side. We're chilling with like very little defense in my end. 
force the second cluster bomb. I think I will pre-buy the flash bomb, by the way. Tower boostless. Dude, does he not know that the glue absolutely demolishes region rainbows? Oh my gosh. That was so satisfying. How many region rainbows do I just get sent? If I get sent a second rush of them, I just get two um balloon dissolvers up, by the way. Two balloon dissolvers won't get pierce capped. Oh, that was so satisfying, bro. That was so satisfying. One of the most satisfying defends I've seen in a while. I'm not even going to lie. Okay. They just sent so many region rainbows into that. And the whole rush got annihilated. Oh. Double, double dissolver. Bro does not know about the balloon dissolver. I'm telling you. I actually did not even have glue splatter on this. Which probably was... Actually, it didn't even matter, to be honest. I think the one balloon dissolver pretty much glued the entire rush. Wow. I think Mr. 8 over here needs to study up on the glue gunner. And they sold their ETN, so they're dead against the camels here. That is a G freaking G, ladies and gentlemen. What a weird match to start off the video. That was actually kind of crazy. The strength of the balloon is over. All right, guys, we're on sands of time for the next match here. This actually should be a better map for me because there's so much more space for placements, which is important. But the um, downside is we are actually playing a harder opponent. I think this guy had like a six win streak going into this match. So we do have to focus up quite a bit. This will probably be a good competition, which is cool. And look at that, they're starting with a dart monkey up at the top. So is, is it going to be dark glue farm once again, dude? There's so many people running that strategy now. Dark glue farm is a very, very popular strat in whole masters right now. And if it's ET and dart, that's exactly what I'm expecting. Well, I guess it's not even dark glue farm again. My previous opponent was going dart bomb farm. Yeah, they were going a really weird load. Okay. Well, either way, starting with the ninja and starting with my ETN as per usual. We'll get this ninja into sharp shurikens here. And, hmm green balloons. Do I just go for the glue gunner now? I think I do, in all honesty. I don't want to leak like an absurd amount again. Just get corrosive early, maybe? Now, a good thing about this, actually, they are greeting for a farm, which is fine for me, because they didn't upgrade their dart much, which means they aren't anti-stalling. And anti-stalling the rounds is honestly the worst thing that can happen to me with a loaded like this. So I'm honestly completely fine that they're greeting there. Let's get Seeking Shurik in here. I'll play this like an eco strategy almost right now. As weird as that sounds. Sending blue balloons will also block their anti-stall. I'm not going to get my first farm for a little bit. Yeah, you can see this round's getting stalled out as well, which is actually fantastic for us. We love to see that. And let's send the money, spend the money on the drone swarm here. It's only 67. Just so then I can delay getting my glue splatter up and go for an early farm here. Alright. I think this is a fine start. A little bit more of an eco-heavy start, but I don't honestly think it's bad with a load like this. And how the rounds are getting stalled. Actually, upgrading the drone swarm is probably a bad idea. Because look at this. We are defending it pretty much without drone swarm usage. We'll still use it just because why not? I spent the money on the upgrade. But I could have... Actually, I should have waited. Because, yeah, I should have waited to use it. I, I wasted money spending up on that ETN level. I didn't think we were going to defend pink balloons that easily. It's fine, though. Pretty soon here, I'm going to get my splatter up. And then we'll be chilling. Blue splatter. Perfect. Might leak a little bit here, but nothing crazy. Actually, we don't even leak at all there. All right. I'll take that. And yeah, as before, we don't want to get double shot on this initial ninja because it's going to be a flash bomb later. So that'll work out well for us. Opponent's got their crossbow and trip dart set up. Nicely done. Now the trip dart is actually anti-stalling fully, pretty much, because the crossbow almost solos my black balloons. So that's a little bit unfortunate for us. I am considering sending yellow balloons here on round seven, which could force more defense. First, it would force the drone swarm usage, but then after drone swarm is used, I can force more defense pretty easily with the yellows. So I think that's a pretty good rush, probably. I'll do it. I'll do it. Let's send yellows now. Okay, there's the drone swarm used. Perfect. I am getting out farm, but again, I'm not really too worried about the farm game here. And we will send more yells after their drone swarm kind of dies off. And hopefully force a sport on their end. Or a tower boost would be good as well. Uh, it looks like they actually chill. I mean, if they don't build a sport, we're going to get the round fully stalled here, which is fine for me too. Yeah, they get spooled up. Nicely done. 
I think we're doing fine here. If they send zebras or region zebras, I'll have to get dissolve up, but it doesn't look like Baby Yaga is too interested in rushing. So I'm actually going for another farm. They sold their trip dart for a juggernaut, fair enough. That's all good in the hood. I think I'm in a pretty decent positioning here. They're getting up a top sport. Let's get this up to a dissolver. Let's use drone swarm here. Let's get this up. I think I'm good here. Tower boost necessary. That's fine. Last. I'm expecting to get rerush most likely next round. So we go the double dissolver out against a rerush. Let's rush them. They have four sour boosts on their side. Are they rerushing me? They actually aren't. Okay. If there's no rerush, honestly, bank. Well, bank it. Why the heck not? I had the money for it. I know it's an odd play to go for a bank, but I felt like it was decent in this situation. I thought they would definitely rerush after forcing my tower boost round 11, I'll be honest. Very surprised I did not get rerushed. Let's get this up to glue splatter too. Yell balloons are actually somewhat deadly because the glue just hits so little of them with how the pierce works out. The glue is so much better against the higher tier balloons. And I could go for like a hose, a glue hose, but the glue hose region farms like crazy. It's not good to go for glue hose without a regrow blocker village early game. That's why I don't go for the middle path. It would create a massive regrow farm against rushes. This appears to be defending fine though. I think our positioning honestly is really good here. I like how this game has played out. I might go for a secondary ninja. I don't really want to leak. I'd like to maintain that life advantage if I possibly can. It's only a four life advantage, so it's not much to hang on to, but we can do it. How much is in our bank, by the way? It's cooking. 5k. Not bad. Honestly, if I can make this bank into a monkey nomics round 24, that would be great. Around 24 nomics would be really good. Building off that bank. So aim for that. Are they going to send me a Moab? Is the question of the day. Let's use Drone Storm here. I am actually... Wow, we are struggling against pink balloons, dude. The balloon dissolver against Rage and Rainbows is like king. But then when someone sends eco balloons, it like sucks. It's so funny. Okay. Moab. I'm just going to get Sticky Bomb here, I think. Come on. I need one banana, dude. One banana. Thank you. Can I glue that ceramic? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I glued all the ceramics. I had to get quite a bit of defense there, but honestly, not really too worried about getting the defense up. It was a good way to defend the rush. I could have tower boosted the rush too, but I already used a tower boost early, so... Using another tower boost probably would have been bad, all things considered. We'll start farming again here, though. Alright, 2,000 eco. We'll stop there. Uh, the fact that we're still struggling is actually really upsetting. Oh, we're, t we're tied in lives now. Holy cow. Yeah, dude, AI it can be so rough with this loadout. I should be fighting against this Moab. I have enough Moab DPS. Oh, yeah, I have the, that's the Sticky Bomb still. Of course, I have enough Moab DPS. Let's get this up to an I'm a clone. Increase the capacity to 20k. Double Sticky. Just to double Flash Bomb, just so I don't die. Maybe even a third Flash Bomb? Holy cow. I'm leaking. Bro, I lost my life advantage. Oh my gosh, why? Dude, these things suck so much against pink balloons. It's so sad. Maybe I should maybe I should have just gone for like a what's it called? Glue hose. I guess the life advantage isn't super important because I'm pretty sure I could still kill their loadout before round 40. But it's really just nice to have at the end of the day. Snuggle under your bed with life advantage, you know what I mean? Okay. I want to get this Nomics up here soon though. Is gonna be the plan. I'm not gonna worry too much about the ZMG defend right now. We'll get, we'll get a late. Uh, soul over probably against this. Actually, I'm just gonna. Do I just get soul over? No, I don't need soul over now. I don't need soul over now. 
We're good. All right, if they just keep sending, I'll get Solver up. We're fine, we're fine. This is bad, though. This is very bad. Is he all out with leads? Tower boost this? I should be fine. I should be fine. Actually, I just let that region farm. I let that region farm pretty hard. The solver solo? Yeah, we're good. Okay. All right. I still need to get my thing up. Oh my gosh. All right. That was not the cleanest way to defend the rush, I'll be honest. But now we can finally get the Nomics up. End of round 25. Still at the end of the day, though, we are completely out farming the opponent. Because the amount of tight leads my man just sent me was absurd. So we're fine. Are they sending DTs? I can cash this out for a sticky bomb if they send DTs. No, we're good. We're good. That was lag centric for a second. All right. Another four or five ZMD. This one should not be near as bad. We don't have a weird defensive setup this time. Sticky bomb, Sabo off the rip. And my opponent's farms are absolutely dog water as well. So we've got that going for us. We just want to keep this guy pretty much Sabo the entire time, I think. I don't even know if I need to. Okay, DT, Sabo. This will defend pretty easily. All right, we're good, we're good. Everything's fine here. They're selling some stuff on their side. They're getting up a crossbow in the middle. That's totally fine. Honestly, just gonna keep the Sabos up. We get a BRF on our own end now, and we get this 20K ability here in a second. Perfect, we'll get up our own Central Market, nice. Okay. We're good. Yeah, we're good against all this. We're good against all this. Relentless Glue is so good against ZMG insides. You see all of the stuns. That is just one Relentless Glue going crazy, ladies and gentlemen. Relentless Glue is so OP. I really wish I had the life advantage, dude, because I could have totally GG round 40 this match. With, like, the amount of farms my opponent has, there's no way they can kill me late, right? This would have been a GG round 40 match, 100%. All right, I'm actually going to do a pretty crazy play. Sell you. Sell you. Get you up. I could have went for Banana Central and sold this. Oh, they actually got their first fifth tier farm up, finally. All right, congratulations, Baby Yaga, for the round 29 Monkey Wall Street. That's the earliest Monkey Wall Street I think I've ever seen. Now, Bloom Solver is actually not that useful for me late game once I get my Master Bomber up. So I might actually just sell that at some point here. It's mostly a mid-game carry tower. But, I mean, if they're not rushing me, I can just go from a Banana Central sometime soon, probably. How much is in here, by the way? 22k. Actually, let's just cash this out. Even though it's not 30k, we'll cash it out early, just so I can get the Banana Central earlier. I think that's not... I think that's pretty smart. In all honesty. I do need to keep spamming ninjas around the map, though. Because if they... If I do get rushed, I need to get so many shinobis, so many blue jutsus on our side. It's gonna be a little crazy. Alright, we're doing good. We'll keep the, re the right side reserved for farms for now. Another farm. Another ability. Okay, I'm getting sent a BAD now. Let's get a Grandmaster on our side. Get a couple more of these. We're going to get up a Blue Storm here soon. Honestly, just sell this. Blue Storm. Keep spamming these ninjas. Just go crazy with my upgrades, guys. Crazy with the upgrade binds. Okay. It's only one BAD, so it shouldn't be that bad to deal with. I'll wait as long as possible to get my Master Bomber, pretty much. Which has only a 9 stack, so we'll get the 10th stack on this guy. Perfect. 
Up Sabo. We're good. Okay. Okay. That, that popped actually faster than I anticipated it to. I'm not going to lie. I didn't think we'd pop the BD that quickly. So I wasn't ready for my Master Bomber. We're suffering from success over here, ladies and gentlemen. All right. That does get popped entirely. Keep spamming these. We can start getting stuff on the right side, too. Oh, I really wish I had the life advantage again. I'm gonna have to rush them. Let's see if they can let's see if they can defend one fortified BD. They definitely should be able to. Not that hard with their loadout. They can get plasma monkey fan club, glue storm, and stuff. But it will force farm cells at the end of the day, and that's really what we're going for with the rush. You know, keep them on their tippy toes. So we'll send one, and let's try to get another farm on our end as well. Just continue my farm advantage. How much has this made me, by the way? 185k from the Nomics. Not bad, in all honesty. You don't really see the Nomics come out much. I want to get the Nomics so much earlier, but... Mr. Baby Yaga just wanted to send infinite leads my way. Okay, see how they do. Plasma Monkey Fan Club, Glue Storm, Tower Boost. That should pop it. They can get normal Fan Club. Yeah, they have a normal Fan Club alongside the Plasma Monkey Fan Club, so they've got two Fan Clubs going. They're going to have to micro it a little bit, though. This BAD is very healthy, guys. It is ramped up a lot more than the round 31, so that's why it has not popped yet. Oh, yeah. They'll pop it, though, I think. And they're down to one farm now, too, on top of that, which is good for me. All right, keep getting these guys up. Keep using these abilities. Uh, are they good, actually? They might be dead. The insides are proving... Oh, they barely hang on. Nicely done. That was actually a lot harder of a defend for them than I thought it would be. I'll be honest. And they sold their everything. They sold everything after they defended. Bro, I could just send you another one. Like, why would you sell all of your defense? You're too greedy, bro. You're too greedy. Bro's trying to take one out of the Ryan Mahalik greed book over here. What I also should do on my side is get, like, a super glue back here, too. Because Master Bomber does struggle a little bit under huge pressure, so... Super Glue would be nice. I don't know if they defend this, by the way. This might kill them. They don't have enough money to consistently micro their fan clubs and stuff. We'll see. Yeah, they are they are dry on cash. You can see that only 4k dollars. And without... I don't know if they have Tower Boost available either. Oh, they use Tower Boost. They pop it. Okay. The insides still are going to be a problem, though. It, the super glue doesn't full stall. It just slows them down. So, insides are still an issue. You need, you need another fan club. I think he needs a plasma fan club, not a normal fan club. He's dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Oh, my gosh. What? 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 Bro, he died. Okay, I was gonna say he died like five times on my screen there. What was that, bro? Pretty fun game though. I'm not gonna lie, that was a fun match. You know what, guys? I was ready to end the video right there. I mean, that last match was a pretty good game, but I thought, why not run one more? And look who we ended up matching against, Master Jerry D. He's the person in the previous video who was going in Ninja, um, Glue Gunner and Farm, and kind of inspired me to go in this video. But it looks like he has absolutely switched up his strategy today and is going a heli farm strategy with ETN. So. We'll have to wait and see what that is. We do have the Life Avenge, but Life Avenge is pretty much worthless here due to the fact that they have Heli, so we'll have Life Rejuvenation. But it's still going to be an interesting match nonetheless. We're on Bloomstone Quarry here. Pretty much got our regular start with our 220 Glue and the 201 Ninja and my ETN. So nothing crazy has been going on. Also, that Heli is surprisingly effective, I've got to say. Like, what is that? I think it's a 202 Heli. It's shooting faster. That Heli and the etn actually kind of are defending everything luckily lucky for me though they did use drone swarm right here so i can send yellow balloons on round seven after the drone swarm dies off and they should yellow balloons should be pretty effective when drone swarms on cooldown so that'll be the plan drone swarm's gonna die off here soon let's send now see what they do second heli all right i'll just take the second heli force that's that's good i'll take it and run with it Honestly, no clue as to their third, though. Could be, like, Heli Glue Farm. That would be interesting. Two Glue Farm strategies kind of facing off. Heli Glue Farm could probably defend quite a bit as well, I'd imagine. 
because the Apaches with Blue Storm are pretty effective. All right, it looks like they're sending me some region white balloons. Let's use Drone Swarm here. Drone Swarm should be able to fend that pretty easily. And if they send me region zebras in the next round, we are just going to simply go for a balloon dissolver. This is the plan. Balloon dissolver. Not a problem. All right. Everything's going well for me, I think. So far, no complaints at all. Let's go for one more farm on my end. I think we can greed for that. It is glue gunner. Oh my gosh, no way. Okay, so two glue farm ETN strategies facing off. It's heli versus ninja. What will come out on top? It's actually be a pretty interesting matchup. I do want to rush them. I don't think that bl balloon dissolver is actually going to do that well against white balloons. If I have balloon boost too. I force drone swarm. And I'll send some camos too. At them on round 12. Okay, there we go. Force the Razor Rotors. Nice. Alright, I think this was a decent start for me, all things considered. I still have pretty weak defense on my own end. So we'll see if the opponent ends up wanting to rush. Okay, double, double glue gunner this. We'll go for a plant here. That's good. And now we'll continue farming. Alright. Well, pretty good stuff off the start, then. I honestly don't know who necessarily has the late game advantage. I honestly think they could. Just because, again, as I said the first match, this isn't really the best map for my strategy. The placements for the ninjas are really whack in the late game rounds. Which is going to cause some issues for me. But, I, I think if we play the match well enough, you know, greed-wise, farm-wise, there's a lot of other factors that can come into play, you know what I mean? So... I'm not going to count my chicken before they hatch here. I feel like we'll be chilling. Round 16. I still don't have a flash bomb on my own end, by the way. We have been absolutely greeting a ton, and Master Jerry D is letting me do it. So I'll take it. I guess they don't have that much defense either, but I feel like with Razor Rotors, you're a little bit more comfortable. Now, the thing about this map is there's only three farm spots. So unlike Sands of Time, when there's a lot of farm spots in Sands of Time, I'll probably go really high eco here. Okay, they're sending me a Moab. That is fine. This should defend the Moab. Just the drone swarm alone can pretty much pop the layer, I think. First. Yeah, we're good, we're good, we're good. Alright. No tower boost necessary, which is nice. Do I want to send them a fortified Moab? Probably not. They just they just get Moab or Moab shove. Hmm. Maybe I'll send a 4 or 5 mob in round 19, mixed in with the strong AI balloons. That could be a smart rush, because round 19, there are some ceramics co that come out from the AI path. Alright, plan here is essentially just use a sticky bomb in a second. And we'll use a drone swarm late. This should defend the insides. Sticky bomb stuns them, and the drone swarm cleans up. Alright, nice way to defend. Good rushes all around from him. Good defense force. Gotta respect it. I think I'll send a fortified mob though. I do think so. I'll send a fortified mob and I'll send some purple balloons behind when the AI balloons start to ramp up a little bit. The purple balloons are gonna block their balloon acid. So they're gonna have some issues. Yeah, especially against the ceramics. This balloon boost. We force double acid, that's good. And we, we're going to force a mole press on their side, too. They sold their top acid, actually. Wait, send more purples, then. Tower boost. Are they good? Oh! It looks like they're good. Alright, nice defend. I can send more purples, though. They're going to be in trouble. They go for a top acid. Yeah, this is this is good. This is good. This is good. They actually still might be dead. I think they're dead. What a rush, dude. I completely exploited the way they built their defense there with that rush. They are busy defending the Moab and the purples pierce cap their glue gunner pretty well.
I'll take that. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Ninja Glue video. And if you did, please hit the like button, subscribe, and look forward. I'm like out. Peace, guys. Have a good one.